We are up to the last cup of the season. This is the Hoenn Cup, which is being brought out in conjunction with the Hoenn Tour. I'm Fish from Palatown PvP, and we're going to take a look at the basics of the Hoenn Cup meta in just five minutes. Now, this is just your basic look. If you want to take a look at a complete breakdown of the meta with all the different sims and uh, matchups and whatnot, we live streamed a chat on this channel on Tuesday night. You can check out the VOD for that here. In the meantime, this is your basics. And the meta completely revolves around eight Pokemon, which are Registeel being the top one, of course. Uh, it obviously hates the Fighters and the Mud Boys, but with its combination of charge moves, it can hit back at those Fighters and Mud Boys, and its bulk allows it to uh, overcome a lot of matchups that you wouldn't expect it to. Obviously, with the lack of fast move pressure and those high energy, high cost charge moves, uh, it is a bit clunky to use sometimes, but you know, that bulk allows it to just position it in such a high spot on the meta. So next we've got Metacham and Deoxys as well. So that's number two and three. The counter uses to counter the Registeel. Metacham is slightly better. There's really not too much that the Deoxys is winning that the Metacham is not. If you are going to run Deoxys, like, it's good. Like, it's um much, much better against, say, a Pelipper, for example. But, um... Yeah, Metacham does tend to get more wins. If you are going to run Deoxys, you want to go Thunderbolt because you will absolutely struggle against a Registeel. If you're running Rock Slide, you will struggle against a Metacham. If you're running Rock Slide, like Metacham can flip that if you're running Rock Slide. Really, the only thing that uh, Rock Slide is better for is your Altaria. So next up, we've got uh, Pelipper, which we've mentioned already. It is your flyer that just spams out those weather balls. It beats a Swampert very, very comfortably. It can beat Metacham pretty well. It also can, in some circumstances, flip the tables against a Registeel. Things have got to go right. You like can't get Zap Cannon debuffed. Um, you've got to spend two shields often. That kind of thing. But there is win conditions there for a Pelipper against a Registeel. You've got Sableye, which is just safe as houses. There is so little to counter a Sableye in the meta. It loses to a bunch of stuff, but there's options to play out of pretty much anything. And that's because there's no Charmers around. You've got Gardevoir and you've got Latias, which are both Psychic types. So they're taking super effective damage back. Delcaddy is the only thing that really walls the Sableye, but at what cost? You're losing very hard to Registeel, and you're also losing to Metacham, because those counters are doing more than the Charms are. Next, you've got Altaria, which is going to beat the Pelipper and the Swampert very hard. It does pretty darn well against the Metacham, and it'll do well against Deoxys with shields up because of the persistent Dragon Breath damage. Uh, next is Swampert, which is the only thing that can beat a core of Registeel and Metacham. There is one more Pokemon, which I have forgotten right now, but Swampert's the main one. The other one was, was fairly off-meta. So if you want to look that up, you can. But Swampert is good for that reason. It obviously has to worry about a Pelipper and a an Ataria, which a lot of teams will be running. But it and it also does pretty well against a Defense Deoxys because the Deoxys is not running many effective moves against it. Um, then you have, I believe, the last one is your War Rain, which it does lose to that core of Metacham and Registeel. It also loses to the Deoxys. It does beat the Flyers very, very hard. So the Yotaria and the Pelipper. Although, Pelipper can still get a shield from the War Rain with a, a Hurricane. So if it's... And like another thing about it is that if it lands the, the Earthquake on the Registeel, then that can flip battles. It can tank an Earthquake from full health. Um, we do recommend the Shadow War Rain. Just because you're like the the matchups that you're doing worse in with the shadow are ones that you were losing anyway with the regular, so you may as well get that extra firepower onto it. And then after that, you've got some spicier picks. You've got things like Regirock. Uh, you've got Whiskash, which the only benefit of Whiskash over Swampert is that it's got the Blizzard for the Altaria and the Pelipper. Marwile with the Play Rough can hit both the Sableye and the Metacham. 
You've got Dusclops with new Poltergeist can hit back at a Sableye. It will lose pretty comfortably, but, it, you know, late game situation, it's got that there. Uh, will obviously beat a, a Metacham and a Deo Deoxys very, very hard. You got Tropius. The, any of the grass types, Tropius, Shift Tree, and uh, what, what's the other one? Um, superior? No, not Superior. Uh, Sir, the third gen grass one. Whatever that is. Um, <laughs> that, all of those will be good against a Mud Boy. You got Vigoroth. Sceptile, that's the one I was looking for. Celio and Flygon is one that I would consider as well. So that's it. That's, uh, that's Hoenn Cup meta in a nutshell, in five minutes. Let us know in the comments what you are thinking of running, because that can help get the conversation going and potentially help someone else out. And good luck with your home-end cup battles.